SEI, this is Ray here, uh, just to give you guys another Tech Tip Tuesday. And so with this edition, I wanted to show you guys how you guys are able to record your screen as a video and save it to your computer uh, and then be able to share that video of your screen uh, to your clients, your coworkers, um, or your employees. So the first thing you want to uh, take notice is there's a command um, on the Dell that will give you this option. And that's going to be Windows, the Windows button here, and then the letter G. So this is a gaming uh, application, but it, it still works for our purposes. So if you, if you were to open or uh, uh, press Windows and G, you will have this option pop up on your window, um, on your screen. And so this gives you a couple options here. Um, and so if you wanted to just take a picture of uh, your screen, um, you can do a, a, a screen capture here or a screenshot. And it also gives you a shortcut button um, on, on, your, on your keyboard. So if you were to push Windows Alt and Print Screen, and the Print Screen button is the F11 button, uh, it will take a picture of what is on your screen. So if I really wanted to take a picture of my entire calendar, send it out to some people, it will take this entire picture on my screen as a photo. Um, another option here is the record. And so and it gives another option here, Windows Alt R. It will give you the option to be able to record what you're doing on your computer as a video. And then obviously we have the a microphone here if you want your microphone on or off if you're trying to explain something on the computer uh, while you're doing something um, on the computer you probably want your your computer uh, your microphone on if it if your commentary is is not needed then um, you probably want the computer uh, the microphone off but those are your probably your big three options in trying to uh, get a capture of your of your computer so again that starts with uh, Windows G and this will pop up on your screen. So let's take an example here and do a recording. So if you wanted to push record. So right now it's recording my screen and, and it's we, we get to know that by uh, uh, this recording count. And so if I wanted to show my staff, you know, my calendar, what am I doing or do a tutorial on on Google calendars, it is now recording all of my actions. So if I were to, you know, go through different um, windows here or, or create a window, this is being recorded as a video um, in its in real time. So, you know, if I were to click on today or next month, uh, and then if, if the tutorial is done, all you have to do is click stop. And then the game clip is recorded. And so you click on this thing here and right then and there you have the recording of your screen so we can just double check here and see what we, what we find out so right now it's recording my screen and it's we get to know that by uh, uh, this recording count so whatever you put your recording when you push that record button, it's, it, it, it makes a video, it makes it easily accessible as a file, it saves it uh, in, what, in the folder called captures, and then you're able to uh, share that, email that uh, to your staff, uh, to your clients, uh, to whoever you need. So I, I think it's a great tool to show what's going on on your screen and on your processes to be able to share that information to anyone you like. Another way uh, we wanted to share is a screen grab. So when we first started the video, you, you can go to Control, you know, sorry, Windows G, Windows G, and pull this up, and you can be able to do a screen grab of your computer screen. So you can click on that, and it shows you the screen has, shot has been saved. You can click on that, and right then and there, um, it'll save a picture of your entire screen. Um, if we wanted to. Uh, just do the keyboard. You can definitely do that as well. But uh, that's another way of being a, being able to show your screen to your uh, to your people and be able to share that information as well. 
So I also wanted to show some limitations to this, uh, the screen recording and the screen grab. So the Windows G uh, will not pop up, or it, it, it will pop up if you do uh, Windows G on your desktop, but as you can see, the options to record and screen grab are grayed out. It will not work. So a program does need to be running. So if I were to uh, pop up my uh, web browser again and do uh, Windows G, see now those options do pop back up again. Um, and I did notice that there's only some programs would are only able to do video. If I were to do wanted to record a screen uh, recording of Adobe Acrobat, so this is my Adobe program, and I do Windows G, it's only going to let me do a screen grab. Uh, because nothing really hap is really dynamic going on in Adobe where it, would, it, it recognizes that it needs movement. But it, it does recognize that it would, it, you might need pictures. So the, uh, the screen grab is activated, but I'm not able to record. So it does have its limitations, um, it, but it does work with web browsers and other programs. Um, so make sure you test it out before you have your heart set on um, a, a, a particular format when when trying to do a recording or a screen grab. I also wanted to show you guys a way for you to take a portion of your screen and uh, save it as a picture um, so you'd be able to attach it to a PowerPoint presentation, to an email, or whatever. And so, for example, if I wanted to just share the graph out of this uh, PDF form that it's possible for me to do. Like if I didn't want to uh, attach the entire PDF form, but just share that in specific information of the graphs, I could definitely do that. And one, the one tool and the one app that could help you do that is called the snipping tool. It's S-N-I-P-P-I-N-G. Um, but if you just type, start snip, uh, typing in snipping, uh, it'll automatically uh, populate to this snipping tool app. And so if I, so this will pop up and then if I click new, uh, the screen will gray out and then my cursor turns into a cross. And so at that point, I'm able to click and drag a portion of this PDF form or presentation. And if I just wanted to share that graph and click that and click and drag over that graph, uh, it'll automatically become a picture uh, that can become attachable or addable. So if I wanted to save this, click the saving the snip and then if I wanted to save this on my desktop and then rename it you know graph and then save so now, now this graph is saved on my desktop and if I wanted to email that out to people um, there's a couple ways you could do that so if I minimize this so the graph is already saved on my desktop, and if I just click and drag, the graph will populate and show up on the body of my email. If I just wanted to do an attachment, I could still do that as an attachment. Um, and then, yeah, click on graph, and then the graph will, will uh, be sent as attachment, or you can put it on the body of the email. So the snipping tool is a great way to just take a portion of whatever you want to um, to share um, and save it as a picture and then make it uh, as shareable as just sharing as uh, any kind of picture document. So.